Okay, this is a late 60s Rogers Dynasonic snare drum. And what I have done to alter the sound of this snare drum, which originally would have had wire snares, is to put gold coated black swamp percussion snares on it. Makes it sound really sweet. And the only other al alternation or alternate that I've done, alteration, is to put a piece of towel on the front. All right? You'll see that a lot with drum and fife type drums, the rope drums, all right? So this is gonna make it sound a lot more dead. I'm not using any mics. I'm using my Sony Ham, Sony Handycam, and hopefully the sound will be good enough so that you can tell that this is a sweet sounding drum. So we've got the gold coated. We've got a new head on the bottom, the Evans. And the top head is simply a Renaissance Remo Ambassador. And I'm going to play a little bit on this and stop talking. And we'll play a little bit of Drum Corps on Parade by John S. Pratt. Let's see if I can get this thing on here, right? Hang on one second. One second. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to play a little bit of drum corps on parade so that you can hear what this drum sounds like. Here we go. Okay, so this is one of the two marching snares that I currently own. Late 60's Rogers Dynasonic. Silver Sparkle was once used by some high school band somewhere. I don't know. Uh, I remember in high school we used the Ludwig gut snares. The Red Sparkle. And we played a band from across town and they used this exact type of drum. But I remember that the drums were very small like this and they had the wire snares but you could hear them I mean you could probably miles from the stadium they'd have a line of seven or eight of these things and you, they were really loud uh, they didn't have the gut sound that this does now because of the snares anyway so that's that this is a Rogers Dynasonic late 60s snare drum. Stay tuned.